What's good and welcome back to the channel. So I've been told that the rear grips for the Cold War weapons are actually fixed now. So I want to dive into a plunder lobby and actually test and make sure that they actually give the ADSB that they're supposed to. I'm just going to walk you through the testing process. We're going to test all these bad boys. I don't have anyone to fl test flinch resistance with me. So I'm just going to take that at face value. Uh, aim down sight is pretty easy to do. And I don't really know how we'll be able to test aiming stability. But we can easily test down aim down sight speed and see which one provides the most ADS speed. And which one you should probably be running on your snipers because ADS speed is very important. Let's go check it out real quick. All right, we're in game. Let's test out the default to get a basically to get a baseline for us. Also, really cool story. This guy behind me is over doing recoil test. I'm gonna let him be. He did kill me though, but we made up. It's all good. Let's start off with doing some ADS speeds. Here we have the speed tape. All right, now we are going to test out the drop shot tape. How nice of them, just leave me be. Anyways, where were we? Oh yeah, serpent wrap time. Also, I'm doing the sprint to fire speeds off camera. So those are kind of uh, time consuming, but here I'm gonna show you the method to do them really quick. So what we're doing is we're gonna run and we're gonna stop. And essentially, I'm running a stopwatch that times between when the gun's up at the vertical position to when it's horizontal and ready to fire like this Be advised, enemy that. Chopper... i'm also not going to bother with fill tape because it does not have an ads modifier with it just flinch resistance so now we have the jungle grip time to ads and run it all right here we have the last one which is the airborne elastic wrap let's hit it with the ads speed time all right now let's do the sprint to fire speed let me go analyze the footage, analyze the results, and we'll drop in and I'll go in depth for them for you. Now that you see my testing methodology, let's run down the actual information that we have. There's the information right there. So as you can see, the default is 0.18 mil, uh, seconds, which is fast, which at least it's actually a plus using all these tapes and wraps. That's a good thing. Used to, it used to be bugged and most of them would actually add on ADSB penalties. So like instead of it, instead of the speed tape being uh, the what is it? 14 se uh, point 14 seconds. It'd be like 0.2 seconds or something like that. Now, ultimately, these are actually going to come down to personal preference, believe it or not. So the sprint to fire speed does matter a lot with the airborne grip, but not if you're using it with a sniper, because no typically you're not quick scoping with snipers. You can, but you don't want to be up in their face. You want to be taking shots from longer range. So the sprint to fire speed doesn't matter as much. That 0.03 seconds will matter a lot. So for SMGs personally, I'm either running speed tape or the jungle grip, no in between, depending on how slow the ADS speed is. Now for most SMGs, the ADS speeds are all right. But if you're starting to work with ARs, I might sacrifice it and slap on a jungle grip. Because if you think about it, that FFAR with that 8-ounce sight speed nerf that it got, that jungle grip, or heck, even the airborne elastic grip will help out a lot and tremendously help reduce the nerf that it got in the ADS department that is. You can't really do anything about the damage. And lastly, I want to know, you guys liking the style of video? If you are, let me know in the comments below by like, commenting, and subscribing. It'll help out immensely. I enjoy doing this type of content. If you guys have any more ideas that you guys want me to test out, I might be doing an updated suppressor versus, versus the agency suppressor soon. Okay, I am doing one. If you guys are down with that, let me know. If you guys have any other ones you want me to test, any other weapons, attachments that you guys are curious about, like the grips. Ooh, that's a good idea. I need to write that down. Grips. Alrighty. And most importantly, guys, <laughs> we'll see you fudging later.